What's up guys? I'm not gonna lie. I was I was so so concerned that I wasn't gonna have something to do a video on today I was just gonna like bullshit a video to be honest with you because I promised a video every single day But then I was watching the YouTubes and I found a youtuber his name is the other gamer So I'm gonna leave his link in the description make sure you go subscribe to him if you're gonna subscribe to me for this video Make sure you go subscribe to him because I believe he's the original founder. I'm not sure don't quote me on that but at least he uh I found it from him, so go subscribe to him as well. His name is the other gamer. I'll leave a link in the description. But what he found was a new loot cave. He called it Loot Cave 2.0, but Loot Cave 2.0 is technically the one in Rocket Yard, so we'll call this 3.0. Why not? This one is in the steeps. That's right, the area on Earth that you spawn in on patrol. Now this isn't exactly like the Loot Cave where you can mindlessly go and shoot into a hole and not move for hours on end. Or you can't AFK here, your friends can't do it for you, you can't just sit at the bottom of the stairwell that you're going to be at and just hope that your friends do it for you or other people are going to be down there. Because first off, this spot isn't popular yet. Second off, you have to move to do this one. And there's a little bit of setup you got to do and it can break and you have to go reset it up and I understand it's not as efficient as the old loot cave. But with that said... It's still very good, and with the patch 1.0.2 coming out in three hours from the time I'm recording this, if this doesn't get patched in that patch, which I doubt it will because it just came out, well, everyone, not really, not very many people are buzzing about this. Like, no, I don't see anyone else doing this, so I don't see this being a thing. But it will get patched eventually because it is a loot cave, and that's not how Destiny Creators Bungie want you to do it, blah, blah, blah. We're going to patch it. We're going to nerf your farms. Whatever. You still have the spot on Venus that I uploaded two days ago. So, what you want to do is once you land, you want to go ahead and get on your Sparrow and head over to here. You want to go ahead and kill all these guys, and this is just to assure that all the spawning system works. I'm not certain if this is necessary, but every time I do it this way, it works flawlessly. So you kill all the guys there, and you're going to head over to this spot right here. Once you go head over to this spot, kill all four of the things here. Again, I'm not sure if this is necessary. But every time I do it, it works. And you're like, what? Is this the run? Is this the loot run? No. Yeah, I just got a weapon from it, but that's not the run. I'm going to go ahead and pull out your thing one more time. And it, as you see that ship coming in, that means the stuff over here is respawning. Just want to make sure everything spawns over here. Make sure they all spawn in. Cool. Whatever. They're going to hop down. You don't have to really worry about them. Now, in case that ship didn't come in, you may need to redo it and hit all three spots. But make sure that if that ship didn't come in when it did, that you kill everything there and then you go back. So you make sure that these guys respawn, they did, and then you also want to make sure that these guys respawn. If they are not respawn when you get around, you need to go back to that original spot. And I know this initial setup is tedious, but I found it necessary. So go back to this original spot, go ahead and take out all these guys over here. Sometimes there's a reaver, drag, or whatever. Just take out everything. Kill it all. Kill it with fire, or lightning, or void, whatever you are. Just kill it. Kill them all. Then, once they respawn, once you kill them all, you need to wait here and wait for that ship to come in. As you see it coming in, you're doing it properly. You want to go ahead and make sure, again, that everything right here is spawned in still, which it is. There's all the enemies right there. You want to make sure that these guys are, of course, heading to where they're supposed to, which they are. As you can see, they're going to be shooting at you. And then you want to go ahead and make sure that also that these guys are still here. You want to ignore them. You also want to make sure that these guys respawn, which they did. At this point, you then want to kill everything right here. If you're supercharged and you're like a hunter or a blade dancer, it's a lot easier. Just kill everything here. Kill them with headshots, melee, doesn't matter what you kill. You've got another Engram, and that's actually good. It's kind of proving my point. You want to kill everything here. Make sure you kill them all. This one. Now, if you see a person in your area, they might fuck it up, but make sure everything's dead. And you want to come down here, and this is where your loot cave's going to be. And actually, this is your loot cave. But... You want to go down here, and the first time you do this, you want to run and only go about halfway down this tunnel, and then quickly turn around and run back up the stairs, because as soon as you do that, you're going to see these guys run it up. You want to kill them all as best you can, quickly as you can. Kill them all. Once they're all dead, you want to go back down the stairs, and what I usually do is I usually run to right here at the doorway, turn back around, and run back up the stairs. If you did this properly, they all should respawn right now, and you should just kill them all. Just kill them. Just like you normally would in a loot cave, anything like that. Just kill them all, shoot them in the face, do whatever you want to do. Kill them, and then once you kill them all, quickly run back down the stairs, go right to this doorway, and then go back. 
If you're doing this right, they should all respawn right when you get back up here and just shoot them all in the face again. Shoot them all in the fucking dome piece. Now, they're not dropping engrams right now, but trust me, these guys do drop engrams and do the same thing. Now, again, this is the part where I said that it's not like a normal loot cave where you can just stay because you do have to beat them back to where they spawn because they spawn really fast. I'm not sure what the timer is on these guys, but it's ridiculously fast. Now, you also want to prevent them from getting up the stairs like that. Run back down, do the same thing, and just rinse and repeat. Eventually, you will start getting engrams, and this is a very good spot. I was doing this earlier. I'm having bad luck right now, but I was doing this earlier, and I was just getting engrams upon engrams upon engrams. And also, what I've heard, I can't confirm this, but if you shoot things in the head, you have a better chance for an engram. So just remember that. Try to shoot them in the face. And then run back down here, and keep repeating. But I hope you, I hope this really helps you guys on getting engrams and farming a new farming spot that isn't, I guess, isn't as tedious and boring as the loot cave was. But make sure you don't let them get upstairs, kill them all, and rinse and repeat. That's all you gotta do. It's a new engram farming spot, and I'm getting really bad luck and not getting engrams, and it's kind of making me look like a liar. Like this doesn't give any engrams. Trust me, this gives fucking engrams. It does. It does. I promise you. May not be getting them right now, but trust me, it does give you engrams. And I just saw, I think I just saw a green just fly up in the air. I did. So see, it's a green. It's just a green. I understand you're like, ah, it's just a green. Trust me when I say this is a good spot. Now also, if you run up and go pick something up, uh, I would start over on your halfway down the tunnel thing because they will respawn super fast if you hang out for a little bit. See what I mean? They're already trying to get up the stairs. I don't know how this works, like, spawn-wise. I don't get it. Uh, I just know that if you hang out for a while after you kill the last one, and don't run down the stairs right away, they will respawn incredibly quickly. Also, if you step really far out of the room like I did, again, go about halfway down the tunnel and turn around and go back. Now, if this breaks on you, you have to go out and, like, you just can't get them to respawn. Either one somehow snuck up and you have to go kill him upstairs, or someone in the area broke your spawn. Again, I don't know why this works the way it does. I can't tell you. I just know that if it breaks on you, like it, like it, oh, it appeared that it broke. But if it ever breaks on you, just go and back to the beginning of the video, kill everything in those area, make sure everything can respawn, kill all three spots, like I did, and then just rinse and repeat. It's a lot more fun than, I guess, the old loot cave, but not as fun as doing the thing on the pike. But again, make sure that if you subscribe to me for this video, make sure you go describe the other gamer. That's who I saw it from. He has no idea I'm promoting him, and I just want to make sure that people get their credit where credit is due. I'm not sure if he was the first one to come up with this, but make sure you do go subscribe him. But also, if you're new here, and you like what you see, and you're, we want to have more daily Destiny content, especially guides, because I put guides up every day. At least I try to. I've been pretty good about it so far. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you guys get out of this. And also, if you're new here, go down to the description. Click that link to the stream. Come watch the stream Tuesday through Saturday, 11 p.m. Central Standard Time to around 3 or 4 a.m. But right there, you can see it kind of broke on me. So you're going to have to go up and figure out what the hell's going on. But until next time, guys, see ya.